welcome back. So today's video is going to be a very exciting video for multiple reasons. The first reason being that this video is all about my fall essentials, everything that I hold close to my heart for fall. Um, it was really hard to kind of narrow everything down, but I think I've got a few winners, I think. Um, the other reason that this video is exciting, sorry I keep swiveling back and forth in my chair, I'm excited. The other reason why this video is exciting is because it is in collaboration with Smarter Beauty, aka Jessica. I scoped out her channel a few weeks ago and I just thought that we had similar content, kind of similar editing styles, I just figured that you guys would really like her. So I asked her if she wanted to collaborate on something and she said yes. So she is also doing her fall favorites or fall essentials so go check out her channel she will be linked below in the bottom bar or she'll be linked right on the screen on that little i card go ahead and click on that that'll lead you right to her video i just really love her channel she's fun to watch she's very knowledgeable about her products and i think that you guys would really like her too so check her out if you guys want to see what i have been loving for fall then please keep watching so i think that i'm going to start off with fashion because that is like the most exciting part about fall is i love the fall fashion um, I know that I wore this top in a few videos ago, either the last video or the video before that, but I had to wear it again because it's part of my fall favorites. I love shirts that are kind of off the shoulder, of course long sleeves and flowy sleeves. I'm digging the flowy sleeve trend for fall, it's just... <sighs> I just think that it makes your outfit kind of look a little bit more fun and unique, so it's not just like a regular top, it's a flowy top. The next thing that I cannot live without for fall are long t-shirt dresses. I wear these literally every day, whether it be to work or to, you know, just go out and hang out with friends, whatever. They can be long sleeve, they can be short sleeve, I'm all about it. You'll find me in a t-shirt dress every day of the week, unless I'm at home, not going anywhere, I'll be in my onesie, my footy pajamas. My boyfriend loves it. Not really. I think that they are so versatile, they can be very casual or they can be more dressy, so t-shirt dress is a must-have for fall. Another must-have for me is a long sweater. No buttons, no nothing, just an open sweater, probably one that goes down either above my knees or just past my knees. I love my long sweaters so much, I also wear these every day, so I'm either in a t-shirt dress or in a long sweater. I guess I'm, I more so gravitate towards long sweaters just because there's so much, I mean they're both versatile, but this is so versatile. You could wear a dress underneath it with some thigh highs, you could wear like holy jeans and just a t-shirt, you know, you can really just dress this so many different ways. I get so excited about fall just because I get to wear my sweaters again. So I know with the last two items I said that I wear them every day, but with a scarf, I really do wear a scarf every day. One of the reasons why I love scarves so much during fall is because I don't wear a bra when I wear scarves. I literally just like let it ride and then I just wear a scarf and nobody knows. Nobody knows and it's just so, just so great. I mean I guess there's a whole trend where you don't have to wear a bra anymore with anything but you know. I'm just not that free. <laughs> I'm not that free of a person but with a scarf I am. Um, particularly I love the blanket scarves. These can be worn in so many different ways. Not only do I wear this as a scarf, but I also sometimes when I have company coming over if I'm trying to get a shot for a video, I will actually throw this over my couch and you know use it as a throw. I don't actually let anybody use it as a blanket to cover up with, but it looks cute, it looks very festive, um, and it's just a quick fix to like, you know, if you're having company over and you wanna look cute, you can do that. Um, I definitely wouldn't let my boyfriend use it because he literally, I don't know, he's so destructive. One time I went out of town for two weeks and I came back and like two of our towels, our, our like shower towels, were literally like ripped down the center. I was like, how did you do this? What did you do? And he's like, oh, I don't know, I was just wiping my back with it and it just ripped. And I'm like, that's why we can't have nice things. So yes, love myself a good blanket scarf to wear and to use as decor. Next up we have thigh high boots. I love, love thigh high boots. I don't know why it's so gross, just sounds like love. Um, I love thigh high boots. I think that they add to any outfit. They just kind of give it more of a dressy look. I love to wear them with dresses. I love to wear them with skirts. I like to wear them with jeans and they're very comfortable. It just depends on what kind you get. I have 
I have about four pairs. I have some with like the high heels and then for every day I have some with, you know, just like the regular boot heels. Moving on to makeup, I don't necessarily have any specific makeup products that I just love for fall. I kind of use everything that I use during the summer. I just kind of do different looks. So when it comes to looks, I suppose that as of right now, um, I, I'm sure if you guys follow my channel, you've guessed it. My favorite palette for fall so far is the Milani Gilded Desires palette. I just think that it has the most gorgeous fall shades in it. Like, <laughs> I love warm, rich tones. I love my mauves. I love um, more of like my brownish gold shades. I love, of course, burgundy and cranberry shades. I, I use more just like rich colorful tones during fall so um, nothing very specific. I guess you could say that I love this palette for fall because it has a lot of my favorite fall shades in it. So when it comes to lips I've been going more for kind of cool tone shades. Um, during the summer I was going with more pinky shades like Fresh Cut by Colourpop. That was my favorite. I used it literally every day and it's still a gorgeous shade. I still use it but I do find myself reaching for more What's the word I'm looking for? Just kind of cool toned mauve shades. Some of the lip colors that I have been loving lately are these two are by Sam Marcel. We have Chloe and Claudine. Claudine is just kind of like a beautiful classic nude shade. It's one that I would probably like, it's a great wedding shade. It's just not too pink, it's not too brown, it's just right in the middle. And then we have Chloe, which has like a bit of purple to it. I guess if you could have a, a neutral purple shade, this would be it. It has like a purple undertone, but it's still wearable. And lastly, we have Dose of Colors. This is the shade Stone. I am actually almost out of this. It has like no pigment left to it, but I can't bear to throw it away. I have to get another one of these, but they wear so beautifully. And lastly, like, Beauty wise, I've been loving the Osea Advanced Protection Cream. It's nothing new, you guys know that I love this stuff already, but I use it especially during the colder months, so fall leading into winter. I always use this just because it's almost, <laughs> this sounds gross, but it's like a chapstick for your face. Like it just makes your face feel so moisturized and um, just like alive again. So I always use this in the winter months, it's just amazing. It's definitely pricey, but you know, it's your skin. It's worth it. That's the one thing that I will invest in for sure. So lastly, this is more of a random thing, but I'm going to mention it because it's so good. Um, chai tea. I gotta have my chai tea. I have it every single day uh, and I make it in a special little way. So what I like to do is take half a cup of water, half a cup of almond milk, pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and then I'll take it out. I'll put a scoop of cocoa powder in there, a little bit of honey, a little bit of um, maple syrup, some cinnamon, and it just tastes like a Starbucks drink. It just like gives me that extra boost of energy to get crap done. And there we have our fall essentials. That is everything that I need for fall. I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of stuff because I don't have a notepad in front of me with things. I just grab things that I had in front of me or whatever, but I'm sure there's many things that I'm missing. So if I did miss anything, I'll have it linked in the description below. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to it. Also hit that little bell, which will notify you every time that I post so that you don't miss a post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.